from all praises, honor, and glory go to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Basham Yahushai, Basham Rechav Kadash, double honor unto the apostles, the elders of great millstone that rule well, and the thought of this truth, among many other things and salutations, to all the sincere Achim out there that are doing the work, you know, and they believe in Yahweh, Basham Yahushai, man, and to the few sincere sisters out there, Shalom. Yeah, man, this is um, going to be a quick hit. You know, it is, of course, always uh, most high willing. Let me just jump straight into the blue letter Bible and go to um, the book of First Peter, uh, chapter 4, verse 1. For as much then as Masayach Yahweh Shai, the anointed, Christ goes to anointed, had suffered for us in the flesh, arm yourselves likewise with the same mind. So we need to have the same mindset, you know. For he that had suffered, for he that had suffered in the flesh had ceased from sin. Yahweh Shai is perfect. You know, we need to follow after his footsteps. You know, follow in his uh, footsteps, do the same things that uh, he was doing, you know, being brotherly, you know, having faith, first and foremost, in the Heavenly Father, you know, being brotherly. You know, it's all about the truth, man. Teaching, applying the scriptures in your life. If you ain't a teacher, because not everyone has his diverse gifts, you know, so it's all about becoming a new man. If you are born in this world, now, in this time, you know, you need to come back to your heritage, being a Hebrew Israelite, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. We need to come back into our power, Yahweh, in the name of his son, Yahweh Shai, whom the world in ignorance calls God and Jesus Christ, you know. So, and we need to cease from sin. Sin is the transgression of the law. So, we need to stop doing all the nonsense and come back to our power, because sin is what separates us from our power, as the book of Isaiah also states. So, that he no longer should live the rest of his time in the flesh to the lust of men, but to the will of Yahweh. And that's the whole point, doing the things with, uh, that are well-pleasing unto the Father. For the, for the time past of our life may suffice us to have wrought the will of the Gentiles when we walked in lasciviousness, lust, Access of wine, revelings, banquetings, and abominable idolatries. So now, the, being in the world, not knowing who we are, because it's the Gentiles, it goes into you know us being spread in, spread in the world. But also, you have the Gentiles that are the people that are outside of the the, the twelve tribes, man, not the Israelite foreigners. You know, but we did a lot of worldly stuff, you know, following after your, uh, you know, your, your rod, so to say, you know, and everything is balanced. Is it, is it sin to lay down with a woman? No, but if you follow after that lust, you know, the scriptures talk about, you know, find out what is, uh, uh, um, you know, the book of Sirach speaks about if you know that a certain thing is, uh, harmful for you, you need to abstain from it, man, because you will be made in laughing stock to your enemies, in the eyes of your enemies, man, that malignly, that hate you, because you have these people out there that just look at you like, <laughs> look at this, you know, only busy with nonsense, and we shouldn't be doing that, man, all the lusts, you know, that come to the flesh, you know, excess of wine, being a drunkard, be all, all, the time, all, all the time drinking. There's no balance. Drinking is allowed, but, you know, we need to do it moderately, man, with, with uh, you know, balance again. Revelings, and that reveling goes out to, you know, clubbing, being out there, parties and uh, all types of uh, things like carnival. It goes back to uh, uh, Bacchus, the god of arousal. You know, of um, you know, it goes into drinking and wine. You know, and again, drinking is not bad, but the setting that you're doing it in, and the in the the amount 
of wine that you're drinking. That is the thing that you need to be checking. Banquetings always with eating, eating, eating. You know, the scriptures also talk about that. That you could be uh, satisfied with a little. Of course, sometimes you have dainty, uh, but don't be oversaturated with those uh, dainty meats with all these uh, sweets and, the, you know, that uh, good food, <laughs> you know, inside joke. You know, so it's all about balance, man. And with these abominable idolatries, you have people that are doing all types of things, worshiping other gods. We can't do that, man. We we worship Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, man. As for me, in my house, we worship the Heavenly Father in the name of His Son, Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. You know, and the, again, um, when they think it's strange that you run not with them to the same excess of riot, speaking evil of you, you know, so that is what these people do. Oh, you change and stuff. No, we, uh, like I was speaking to a brother, and it's like you have certain goals set. And to get to those goals, you have to sacrifice, man. Like we're doing now, giving our bodies as a living sacrifice for Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. Let me go to that real quick in the book of Romans. Let's see. Romans 12 and 1. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of Yahweh, that ye present your body a living sacrifice. So your bodies need to be a living sacrifice. You. Uh, holy, so set apart, acceptable unto Yahweh, which is your reasonable service. So we are doing the things, of course, it's through the, through the Spirit of the Heavenly Father that we are doing the work that we believe. And I just uh, finished uh, watching a video of the Apostle Tahar, you know, about um, folk at Malone and the Jake there that said, like, yeah, you know, uh, the Israelites uh, went on uh, slave ships to, uh, you know, different parts, uh, to America, of course, and no, from there we are, we are spread. But he said uh, he was talking about the transatlantic uh, slave trade, and he knew that that <laughs> you know, that is the prophecy of Israel, man, going into captivity in Egypt again and bondage again. But yet I'm not a Hebrew Israelite. I don't associate with you know all the white man is the devil and certain attire and you know, these jakes are all bugged out. But then it came out that he doesn't doesn't even believe in the Lord, man. So Old Testament here basically. So, but he was totally bugged out, man, going from one point. So, it's basically a walking contradiction, man, trying to be deep while he, man, he, he, he far from that, man. But um, it's all through the spirit, man, that we understand that we do this, understand this, and, and love to do this, man. So, and be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of Yahweh? So we need to do the will of the Heavenly Father and see what is well pleasing unto Him. You know, and by being in the scriptures and praying, fasting, you know, you, you Yahweh the Zah, Lord willing, will get that understanding. You will know what to do, man, and what not to do. You know, and you learn from your mistakes. If you make a mistake, a righteous man fall at seven times, but get it back up again. All through the spirit and mercy of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, man. You know, so we need to be transformed, becoming a new creature. You know, not the old, old, uh, not busy with the old things, the old habits, the old conversation. You know, the guy that was in the world or the uh, woman that was in the world. But you need to become a new creature. You need to do the things now according to the spirit of the Heavenly Father. Because the Most High has set uh, a standard for us to meet to be able to uh, get into the kingdom because it's all about following the heavenly father his uh, rules man his his law statutes and commandments and having that faith you know loving the heavenly father with all your heart you know loving out your neighbor you know Yahweh Shai said that upon these two things hang the whole law you know so to roughly paraphrase, but to go back, so if you go here to First uh, Peter four and three, for the for the time past of our life may suffer us to have wrought the will of the Gentiles, because now and when we walked in uh, lasciviousness, we go to that, because like in the book of Ephesians two, you know we've been quickened to 
uh, 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 Yahweh Shai, you know? We're alive now, not dead, spiritually dead, because the scriptures speak about she that lived in pleasure is dead while she lived. And that word dead goes into someone that is spiritually dead. You know, you're dead from the neck up, as a brother in the camp always uh, states about these people in the world, man. They have no idea what's going on, or, or they don't care, and they uh, take uh, the words of the Most High lightly. They don't see what's going on, man. They're busy. They're, they're not long-term investors. They think in a, in a fashion which uh, is um, fitting a person that only thinks about short-term, uh, uh, basically, goals. We have a goal that uh, the scriptures speak about. We press towards the mark. You know, Yaros is going to get it into that. But these people, they think like, oh, I'm going to get it now, 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 now. And, you know, th this is how it's going to be. We, this world is going to be like this forever or whatever. You know, some of them, oh, yeah, maybe it's war now. And, you know, soon, I don't, it doesn't bother me, but famine is coming. You know, Jacob's trouble is coming. These people are setting up their plans while you being your bread and circus mindset, you know, distracted, eating. Drinking, marrying, giving into marriage, you know, like uh, Yahweh Shai also said, you know, it's just like in the days of Noah, man. People are totally distracted, man. And that's why Esau is building all these stadiums for you to be distracted by, man. MMA, of course, we watch that and, uh, you know, we watch the game, but we are not part of that BS game, you know. We are in this world, but we are not of the world. The Most High, true. Uh, by his son, Yahweh Shai, pulled us out of the world, Yahweh Tazam, man, because he that endured into the, to the end, the same shall be saved. So Yahweh Tazam, we are of those men, you know, that have faith and that can endure into the end. So, so um, let me go to, um, lasciviousness, it goes into desire, craving, longing, Desire for what is forbidden. You know, see what is evil for your soul and you need to abstain from that, man. Lust. Again, First Corinthians 7 goes into, you know, you, of course, if you have a woman, you, you're going to feel that burn. But with everything, there, there's uh, advice, there's laws for everything, man. You know, advice or laws because Paul spoke with uh, uh, of course, in the spirit, and he spoke about the laws, what the heavenly Father uh, really uh, had put down, but also his advice. But still, it's in the spirit, so it is still a statute, it's still a, a, a law or a regulation, basically that you need to follow. You know, so he, he spoke about how to deal with uh, uh, your your woman, or how a man should deal with his virgin. You know. How to uh, deal with an unbelieving partner and all that, man. You know, and if you are alone, hey, he said it's better to be like me. Why? Your focus is going to be on the Lord. Same thing with the so-called uh, single ones out there, you know, male or female. Your focus is going to be, if you have a, wo a, a, a wife or a husband, your attention is going to be there. Or a great part of that attention is going to be there. So, you know. If, if you don't have a partner, you, your focus is more on the Heavenly Father, man. So, and it goes into consumptions. And let me go to um, banquetings also. Let me see. Let me go to uh, Revelings first. And you see it, revel, it all goes to, if you look it up, it goes to um, uh, Bacchus, you know, a revel, caral, uh, carousal, a nocturnal and riotous pro uh, procession of half-drunken and frolicsome fellows who after supper parade through the streets with torches and music in honor of Bacchus or some other deity. That's carnival right there, man. And sing and play, and Jake loves carnival, man. 
in the islands, uh, especially in the islands, man, and sing and play before houses or, of male and female friends, hence use generally of feasts and drinking parties that are protracted till, uh, protracted till late at night and indulge in revelry. So you see, it goes into carousal as in letting loose, you know. So that's what uh, Jake be doing a lot, man. But this is the this is the basically this is the world, man. So banquetings goes into drinking, carousing, um, alternate of a drinking bout or carousal, carousal banqueting. Let me look it up because I thought it also was going into food. Let me see what the dictionary says. Uh, the meaning thereof, let me see, banqueting, a sumptuous feast, uh, especially elaborate and often ceremonious meal, you see, for numerous people, in honor of a person, a state, uh, of a state banquet, a meal held in recognition of some occasion or achievement, an awards banquet, so you see, that goes into that. And let me see. And this is the what I wanted to go into also. Um, let me go back and go into the next thing. Oh yeah, that was the word. Uh, riot but let me go into idolatries the worship of false gods you know that's what uh, people are doing mammon you know you're all about the uh, dollar dollar bill you know what i'm saying that, that a lot of jays be chasing that dollar man fiat money and esau be setting up that digital uh id man so all is about to, all cash is about to be abolished man and people they just in the spirit of, uh, you know, being in the house of feasting instead of in the house of mourning. In the house of feasting, you know, your mind is all over the place. But in the house of mourning, the heart is made better. The mind, the heart is going to be made better. So, riot goes into an abandoned, dissolute life. Uh, profligacy, uh, prodigality. So, and then, you already saw it there. Profligate. Let me. Profligate. A profligate, uh, recklessly extravagant or wasteful in the use of resources, or waste wasteful. You're a waste man, as they say in the UK. <laughs> you know, wasteful. Wasteful. Of a person, action, or process, using or expending something of value carelessly, extravagantly, or to do no, uh, or to uh, no purpose. You know, it goes into prodigal, prodigal son, you know, the, the prodigal it goes also to the scriptures, spending money or using resources freely and recklessly, wasteful, extravagant. So it's all synonymous, you know, and let me see. So that was that. Let me go to the next and. Let me go to um, Philippians. So I had some here. This is about the women. Where did I then I go to? Because it's all about, you know, you need to also uh, use self-control temperance when you want to reach a goal man this is uh philippians 3 and 14. let me straight go here so i can jump into these words also this is uh philippians 3 and 14 i press towards the mark uh, toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of yahweh in masayach yahweh shai you know so we press towards the goal the mark goes into scopos an observer a watchman the distant mark looked at 
because scopus goes to scopeo, which means to, you know, really attentively look at, you know, like in, what was it, Romans uh, 16. So, the distant mark looked at, you see, you, you have like a, a tunnel vision when it comes to, you know, getting, uh, of course, with circumspect looking around, but we have a goal in front of us that we want to, uh, we want to reach that goal, which is to please definitely follow, to get into the kingdom and to get the hell out of here, you know? The goal or end one has in view, that is what we are uh, uh, about, you know? So, let me go back. So, we're pressing towards the mark. We go to the word press. And that goes into to press on figuratively of one who in a race runs swiftly to reach the goal. To pursue, and it also goes into in the hostile manner. It goes into other things also. <laughs> to arrest trouble and molest, but you know, to persecute, to be mistreated, but metaphorically to pursue. We are pursuing uh, uh you know, we are pursuing our goal to seek after eagerly. You know, we are hastening the day, you know, earnestly uh, hoping, you know, uh, that the day of the Lord will come. We want the day to come now, you know, basically. We are earnestly desiring the day to come. That That is uh, what it says. So, desiring earnestly for the day to come. The day of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. You know, that's... Going into uh, Second Peter, the third chapter of, uh, of uh, hastening, the word hastening. So earnestly endeavor to acquire, and you know to ensue, follow after, just to selectively read, you know, press forward. So we are really uh, uh, pursuing that that goal, like people pursue a career. We pursue, uh, 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 you know. To be in the in, in the kingdom, man. We have that uh, career, you know. People want to build a career here. Matthew six and nineteen, you know, moth and rust corrupts everything here, man. We are, you know, gathering our treasures up in heaven. You are with the Zah, man. So, you know, so, and you also see that that word mark. This is another thing. Another uh, Salafi also wanted to go into the word prize. That it goes into scopus. So you have Tawa in uh, Ezekiel. You have uh, Mark in the Romans 16, which goes into Scopeo. You have Scopos, and you have Harachma, all Mark. So that's why we look up words, man. And if I'm correct, there's another one also. So <laughs> let me just uh, go onto the word prize. The word. You know, Bravion, the award to the victor in the games, a prize. Because we're running a race, right? Metaphorically, so metaphorically of the heavenly reward for a Christian character. You know, to, for, for, you know, you becoming a new creature after the will of the heavenly father. And he that endured into the end, the same shall be saved. You know? So let me... Um, Go, let me see. Yeah, and it also goes here. Because I wanted to also go into this in uh, 1 Corinthians 9 and 24. And 1 Corinthians 9 and 24. Because this also ties into what I was uh, speaking about earlier. About showing uh, 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 temperance. You know, discipline. You know, you're controlling yourself, you're, you're bridling your lusts, controlling them. Like a horse as a, you know, the mouthpiece, you bridle the horse, you have that, uh, that, that rope or whatever you use, the leather type of strap, you, you control the horse. That's how you need to control your emotions, you control your lusts, control your spirit, man. 
So 1 Corinthians 9 and 24, Know ye not that they which run in a race run all, but one receive the price? You know, we're working out our own salvation. You know, we can't save another. We can help in, uh, each other. But at the end of the day, they need to run their own race, man. So run that ye may obtain. We need to run in the manner that we are going to obtain, man. That we are going to, uh, you know, with a goal, man, in mind. Let me go to the word obtain also. And that goes into Catalambano, Catalambano, to lay hold of, man. You know, to seize upon, take possession of, you know. So, in a good sense of the Lord, by his holy power and influence, laying hold of the of the human mind and will in order to prompt and govern it. Yeah, and control your spirit, man. Through the Lord, to the will of the Lord, to the spirit. To detect, to catch, to lay hold of with the mind. To understand, perceive, learn, comprehend. You know? So let me go back. And the prize we already went into that word is the same word as in Philippians. So, I had another one that, uh, you know, that was in, what was it? Second Timothy also. But let me just stick to this. I don't want to make it too long. Um, and every man that striveth for the mastery is temperate in all things. Now they do it. Now they do it to obtain a corruptible crown. You know, because the Apostle Paul was uh, comparing it with uh, with the sports. You know, there a lot of people in the, in those days that were also in sports. If you look at the Grecians and all that, so there are a lot of games going on. So now, this uh, uh, they do it for a corruptible crown, for glory in the world, but we don't do it for glory for men. He want to please the heavenly Father, man. So, but we an in, but we an incorruptible. You know, we want to have that. Uh, uh, we want to receive that crown out of the hands of the Lord, man. Like it, it goes into in um, the book of uh, Second Answers. You know, the book of Revelations also speaks about you know being rewarded, man. That's what we want. We don't want this this. You know, oh yeah, you were that guy, you could dribble well, or, you know, you were a good driver, or, you know, fuck all that, man. What's that gonna, 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 what is that in the eyes of the Heavenly Father, man, if you're still a piece of dung? You know? Look at Mike Tyson. Now you're all about the, you know, because the daughter's a sodomite and all that. You have people out there that run with these sodomites, man. They're controlled, man. And you know all, all what they he even said it. All these bells, the, the, they don't mean a damn thing, man. But hey, we are striving for the mastery, man. And the mastery goes into here. Uh, Agonizo, my to enter a contest, content in gymnastic games, to contend with adversaries, fight metaphorically, to contend, struggle with difficulties and dangers. And that's also what we do, man. Walk being. Uh, you know, gold is tried in the fire and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. So we're going through adversities to become better. To endeavor with strenuous zeal, strive to obtain something. You know, give it your all. Give it diligence to make your calling and election sure, man. You know? And it goes into to struggle, literally to uh, uh, or to compete for a prize, man. To, uh, to uh, figuratively to contend with an adversary or a genitive case to endeavor to accomplish something, fight labor, fervently strive, you know, fight the good fight of, of uh, faith, right? That's what we're doing. It's right here, 1 Timothy 6 and 12. Fight the good fight of faith, lay hold on the eternal life. That's what we want, man. Whereon thou art also called, it's all predestination. 
and has professed a good profession before many witnesses, you know? If you just get that precept right there. So, I therefore so run, in verse 26, 1 Corinthians 9 and 26, I therefore so run, not as uncertainly, so fight I, not as one that beateth the air, not as uncertainly. We do this with 100% faith, man. But I keep under my body and bring it into subjection, lest by any means, when I have preached to others, I myself should be a castaway. So you need to practice what you preach, man. You know, and have that temperance, you know, keeping under the uh, under my body it goes into just like with fighters. If you want to reach a goal, you want to get that belt, you need you have training camp, you have all types of things that separate you, you know, from the, the common Joe. You're doing more, you're putting in a lot of work and, and you know a lot of dedication you know diligence to receive that price to be able to uh you know up in the percentage of you winning you're all about that uh that that price man yeah if you're you're you know you're pressing towards that mark but they do it for a corruptible you know uh price but we do it for an incorruptible crown man the crown that Yahweh we will get from our Lord, Yahweh Shai, man. So, but I keep under my body, so that goes, keep under. He, he Bo Piazzo, goes into to beat black and blue, to smite, uh, so as to cause bruises and livid spots. And it goes like a boxer, whom uh, one buffets his body, handles his, uh, handle it roughly, disciplines by hardship. You know? And that is what it is, man. We go into hardship and become better in the mind. You know, your character's being built up. You're tough and being tough enough for the times to come, man. Jacob's trouble is coming, man. And you learn how to judge a uh, certain situation and recognize uh, situations. And you can help one another, you know? So, um, basically, uh, I keep on my broad and bring it into the subjection. Yeah, that, that one. Um, that goes into Dao Lago Jail to lead away in slavery, clean as one slave, to make a slave and to treat as a slave, i.e., with severity, subject to stern and rigid discipline. So you you curb all those uh, you know uh, those bodily lusts with discipline. You keep it in check. Brill your lust. Bring it into subjection. You know? No longer are you the slave of your lust, but your lusts are now the slaves are subject to your discipline. And that's it, man. So, yeah. Um, with that, I would like to give all praises, honor, and glory into the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Basham Yahweh Shai, Basham Kodash. Of honor to the apostles and elders of great millstone and rule well and the told us this truth and set up the issues to the sincere Akhima there that are doing the work and the belief in Yahweh Basham Yahushai. Shalom.